Ronan, Robust Neural Inertial Navigation in the Wild Everybody carries a smartphone, every day, all the time. Smartphones come with a small sensor suite called Inertial Measurement Unit, or IMU. What if we could simply use the sensor data to estimate our motions and daily activities? This research tackles the problem of estimating the positions and orientation of a person carrying a smartphone. For the task of motion estimation, GPS is a popular navigation system, but it fails indoors. Visual odometry is capable of producing precise motion, but needs a camera and fails inside of a pocket. Furthermore, the video recording and processing is energy draining. IMU-based navigation, called inertial navigation, is energy efficient and works anywhere, indoors as well as deep inside of a pocket. Inertial navigation could be the ultimate anytime, anywhere navigation, allowing a smartphone in everyone's pocket, hand, or bag to keep track of its relative locations all the time as shown in this example. Ronan takes inertial navigation research to the next level by providing a new benchmark containing IMU sensor data and ground truth motion trajectories under natural human motions, novel neural inertial navigation architectures, and qualitative and quantitative evaluations against competing methods. We designed a novel data acquisition protocol that uses any smartphone as an IMU device and Google Tango 3D tracking phone in a body harness for the ground truth motion acquisition. This two-device protocol allows users to handle the IMU smartphone naturally as in real day-to-day -day activities. Ronin provides the largest inertial navigation database that is also diverse in every aspect. Our dataset contains more than 40 hours of natural motion data whose distance of travel reaches over 100 kilometers, utilizing four different brands of smartphones collected from 100 human subjects in three buildings. We designed deep learning architectures for estimating body velocities given a history of IMU data, in particular, angular velocities from gyroscope and linear accelerations from accelerometer. We propose three families of neural architectures for inertial navigation, with a novel coordinate frame defining input IMU data and output body velocities, and robust velocity loss functions increasing the signal to noise ratio. Our system integrates this deep learning module with a traditional sensor fusion algorithm that computes device rotations to effectively estimate body positions and orientations. Please refer to our paper for more details. Here are a few experimental results compared against ground truth from the visual inertial odometry system, a classical step counting method, and two state-of-the-art data-driven methods, namely IonNet and RIDI. Note that only ground truth and R method Ronin produce body orientations in addition to positions. The first example starts with a subject carrying a device in the same position and walking at different speeds, with stops in the middle. Ronin and step counting works well, while IonNet fails if one changes walking direction after stopping. In the latter half, the device placement changes between a hand and a pocket while walking, and in this case, Ronin is the only method that can produce accurate estimations. In the second example, the subject carries the phone in a hand, a bag, or a pocket. This trajectory also includes complex motions such as turning while walking straight or walking sideways, where Ronin is once again the only successful method. Note that we can notice errors for motion types that are scarce in nature and hence in our dataset, such as sidestepping or carrying a phone inside of a bag. We expect that more training data will overcome these issues. Next, let's look at a real-world example. We follow a subject for six minutes while he walks through a large building. The trajectory is overlaid on the floor plan of the building, where we manually specify the starting position and orientation. The mobile phone rendering visualizes the device orientations from the Android API. The subject changes the device placement frequently while moving. The example also includes complex motions such as sitting, bending, walking sideways, rotating the upper body while moving, moving the device while stopping, and making calls while moving. Furthermore, this trajectory contains a few segments challenging for visual odometry, such as dark narrow corridors with textureless walls or a space full of moving people. The major source of errors in Ronin is the device orientation estimation by a sensor fusion algorithm, 
which is susceptible to accumulation errors for long trajectories and is one of our future works to address. We quantitatively evaluate the competing methods by the average positional error in a one minute window. For example, the graph shows that at 80% of the frames, our method achieves an average positional error less than five meters over a one minute period, outperforming the existing methods by a large margin. We have conducted extensive quantitative evaluations against four other competing methods on three different benchmark datasets, including ours as shown by the table here. Please refer to our paper for the details. This paper sets a new foundation for data-driven inertial navigation research by the new benchmark with large and diverse quantity of IMU motion data. Novel neural inertial navigation architectures making significant improvements over challenging motion cases and qualitative and quantitative evaluations of the current competing methods. Besides being a self-contained system, inertial navigation is an important navigation modality in much broader domains such as virtual or augmented reality, autonomous cars, drones, and robotics. We publicly share our code and data to further promote inertial navigation research on our project website. Thank you for watching.